Hi, I'm Jim McCain of 1-800-Flowers. For years, Brie and Cheddar were the staples at my parties, but I've expanded my horizons, due in part to some wonderful meals I've had at Artisanal in New York City. Today, we have with us Terence Brennan, the chef, proprietor, and fromager of Artisanal, here to introduce us to a fine selection of cheeses and provide us with the tools we need to properly serve and pair them. So if you've ever asked that burning question, does mango go with manchego? Stick around. You're sure to find out. everyone, welcome to Celebrations. I'm your host, Allison Chase. My friend Kim is an avid entertainer and well-known hostess here on the East End. And today she's decided to have a few friends over for a wine and cheese tasting. And I have just the gourmand for her to meet. Terrence Brennan is the chef and proprietor at Artisanal Restaurant in New York City. Let's go meet Terrence and see what he has in store for us today. Kim, this is oh, Terrence hi. Brennan. Yeah. Terrence, nice to meet you. Kim. Pleasure to meet you. He is the guy to talk to about this wine and cheese party you're doing today. Oh, great. Yeah, so cheese and wine party. I thought it would be great if we just had an enormous cheese plate with all the accoutrements and that's dinner. Problem is, I don't know what cheeses are for summer, what goes with what, what you serve with it. But what I love most about entertaining with cheese is that it's so easy. The hardest part is to remember to come back and unwrap it an hour or two before you serve it. And that's, that's the most difficult part of that. So I have a couple places we can go to in town, and then we'll come back and get, not get cooking, but we'll get unwrapping and cutting. Terrific. All right, Let's go. Good. Let's All do right. it. We're having a wine and cheese party night. Excellent. So we want to select a few different cheeses, maybe five, six or so. Okay. All right. What I like to do when I do a cheese platter is I, I like to explore different countries. Think about texture, types of cheeses, and types of milk. So we're going to start at 12 o'clock, the mildest cheese, and go clockwise, mildest to strongest. This is the Camembert we got. Then our next strongest will be the uh, Moserate. Then we're going to serve the Garrocha will be next. Then uh, the Colton Bass's blue cheese. And we'll finish the cheese board with the floss. Everyone expects grapes with um, cheese. It's kind of visually it's nice. This is a fig chutney. This will kind of go with, with all cheeses. Yeah. Tomato jam from Ooh, Portugal. Wow. One of my favorites is quince paste, charcoal crackers. That you can eat. That you can eat. <laughs> We're going to add some nuts and dried fruits, cranberries, apricots. We're going to beef up the presentation with a little bit of charcuterie. Great. And the charcuterie goes very well with some of the harder cheeses. We we'll also have some bread and crackers to serve along with the cheese. Well, we'll finish out our presentation. And that this is beautiful. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Thank you so much for helping out my friends. This is a beautiful Nelson. display. Yeah. Thank really you. Appreciate it was terrific. It. It was a great party. Yes. Thanks for watching. I especially want to thank Chef Terrence Brennan for enlightening us on cheeses. Until next time, I'm Allison Chase. To get more entertaining tips, please visit us at 1-800-Flowers.com slash celebrations.